Hi guys, I hope you have understood policies very well. So now we move to next section, section 3, the integrals. Right, let's try to understand the concept of integrals, right? So suppose uh, we have a curve, a relationship between x and y, right? something like this. This is y axis, this is x axis. So this is the relationship between y and x. Say this curve is called f of x, right? So so we want to find the integral from integral of a a from b right so we want to find the integral of f from a to b so basically what does it mean uh, we want to find the area under the curve or above the x-axis from a to b right so A is called the left boundary and B is called the right boundary, right? Mm -hmm. So without calculus, you can find the area under this curve bounded by this interval, right? So how do you do that? So, so you can get the rough area of this one, right? Say so this is this value is f of p, right? f of p can give a rough estimated uh, value for integration of f from a to b. So integration is denoted by this one here a to b from a to b f of x dx you can give a rough value for that so you know this height so it is given by this area of this rectangle so so this bit is b minus a b minus a b minus a the height of that rectangle is f of b. Sorry, this is f of b. f of b. So, so you know, so this one is this value is somewhat bigger than the area of a f of f from a to b. So, right. This value is somewhat bigger than this value is bigger than the real in integral of f from a to b, right? If you consider other rectangles, say let's say the rectangle angle, this one, right? This bit here. So, so definitely. The area of this rectangle is smaller than the area of this curve under the curve, the, the area of this curve from A to B, right? So, here, yeah. what is the area of this small rectangle, right? Uh, which is this value is fun what is the function value f of a f of a is the height and the width is b minus a uh -huh. f of a times b minus a uh -huh. definitely you can say this integral the curve and the area under this line in between a and b this value in between these two values right 
So how about if you add a point in, be in between these two points? Say let's add a point. Let's add a point C in between A and B, right? Now you can create two rectangles like this, right? So here, so you look at this one. So here, this is the function value. Function value is f of c. You can complete two rectangles. So this height is f of c. Uh huh. And this height is f of yeah. This height is f of c. And this height. So you can. complete two rectangles the sum of these two rectangles is smaller than is smaller than this number here earlier the area of the area of the this big rectangle right yeah, look at this one right? so so what is the area of this rectangle but the sum of these two these two rectangles is bigger than the area of this curve under a area under this curve in between a and b right if you write so first find the area of this rectangle which is this height is f of c times f of c f of c that is the height that is the height and this width this width is c minus a c minus a right so this gives you the area of the first rectangle of the first of the first rectangle and the second rectangle what is the area of the second rectangle which is the height is f b f of b f of b times the width of that rectangle which is b minus c b minus c right the sum of these two areas is somewhat smaller than the sum of these two areas is somewhat smaller than to this the earlier value here this one but this sum is greater than or equal to integral from a to b. Let's write that. One. Let's write that one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This value. Uh -huh. So this sum is smaller than the earlier full rectangle, the area of full rectangle f of r this should be this should be b right not x b f of b right but but this sum is bigger than but this sum is bigger than integral from a from a to b f f of x times t of x right mm -hmm. right so if you consider if you consider these i i i use another red, another color i i draw that one in blue color if you look if you consider this rectangle and this one here what can you say about this this area 
this area is smaller than the 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 area under this curve from A to C, right? Right? Uh, what about this one here? So this area, the area of this rectangle is smaller than this the area of this rectangle is smaller than the area of this curve from A to B right let's write that one as well right the sum of the sum of these two sum of areas of these two rectangles is smaller than the area of this curve from A to B. Uh -huh. So this one is this one is the lower bound. The sum of these two areas is the lower bound. Uh -huh. Let's write that one. But this integral is bigger than this integral is bigger than uh, uh, what is this value f of a times the width of this rectangle c minus f of c minus a f of f of a times c minus a plus and the area of the other rectangle which is so this height is f of c times the width b minus c f of c f of c times b minus c aha uh -huh. so this so these so this sum right this sum of these rectangle is smaller than the area of this curve from A to B, right? And if you consider this one here, you look at this. What is this one? F of A times B minus A. B minus A. This one. I use another another color to denote to denote so to represent this one here. Uh -huh, f of a this height times this whole width. Uh -huh. All right, let's draw that. Uh, this one. Uh -huh. It is clear from this picture that so the pink color, the area of pink color rectangle is smaller than the area uh, smaller than the sum of these two rectangles huh? so so the sum of the blue color area of blue color rectangles is given by this this number is bigger than is bigger than the area of this pink color whole rectangle. So let's write that one as well. Uh -huh, what is the height? So what is the height? Height is f of a, f of a times b minus b minus a, f of a, f of a times b minus a. So if you if you if you add a point, what happened to this uh, this value? So so you can so lower bound increases. Here these are called lower lower bound yeah lower bounds. These are called upper bounds, right? If you add points, 
the lower bound increases while the upper bound the upper bound decreases so this is the concept so let's so let's uh, let's try to understand this one with your note so i will upload my note uh, in the evening right all right this is the concept first understand this concept concept proper then it is easy to understand the general case right all right see you